cockroach is a lamb intestine sandwich. Cut them in the oven with Nutella the oven oil. <laughs> That's dangerous. This is super good. It's like a full meal in like one bite. We spotted a guy who sells roasted nuts, which is one of the things on our list. This will be the one and only Rocky Mika house. Yeah. Today we're in the delicious city of Istanbul and we've got a massive but probably a little too ambitious food tour lined up. <laughs> so true. So we have been here for a little while and I think we've come to know a little bit about what kinds of foods we want to try. So we have written 15 of them down on this list and we are going to try our hand at trying them all out today. We'll see how far we get. Thank you so much. So we're at our first stop of the day, which is for uh, chai tea and Turkish coffee. I did the chai tea. It seems like pretty well everyone here seems to start their day with chai tea. So I figured I'd give it a go. I added a little sugar because I like my tea sweet. Mm. Smells amazing. Tastes exactly like you'd expect for chai tea. <laughs> but it's delicious. Good way to start the day. I see why they do it. So on top of always coming in small, tiny cups, what makes Turkish coffee unique is that it's very finely ground beans and it's unfiltered, which means even though the cup is really small and the coffee is really small, it's very rich and packs a lot of punch, a lot of caffeine in a tiny little cup here. A little bitter for my liking, but locals love it. Don't be afraid to leave the last little bit up behind because it's unfiltered. There's a lot of coffee grinds at the very bottom. Next item on the list is simit, which is like a kind of like a Turkish pretzel, but I hear it's a little drier. That's what we're gonna see. One. Yes. Cheese, Nutella. Oh. Mm. Simit with cheese. Okay. Let's try. Ooh, there's like cream cheese. Mm. That is good. <laughs> That's dangerous. That's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm glad he suggested the cheese. It's like, it's excellent. <laughs> Third item done. Can I get the Philippines. Okay, this is iron. It's like a traditional Turkish drink. I think it's kind of liquidy, kind of yogurty. A little mix of both, so. Definitely yogurty, but just like very thin. Not too bad, a lot of people are drinking it, so I'll give it a try and I can see why. Fresh pomegranate juice. That's what you need after walking around these streets. Super busy. Really refreshing. Mm. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Really good. I want some. Um, Thank you. So pomegranate juice wasn't originally on our list, but we've added it because we've seen it everywhere, and uh, it's usually pretty cheap here. And all like we see people drinking it all the time, so it had to be added. It was a great addition. We've come to the spice market because we know there's a few things that we'd like to get from here. But then we've like seen some other things that aren't everywhere and we don't know what the names are and they're not on our list, but I think we're gonna try them anyway. Wow, what is that? Oh my god. No way, it's not popping in your mouth. Good. This oh one? whoa! It's in the back of my mouth, like popping into my brain. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's trippy. Pistachio, pomegranate with almond, caramel almond, Nutella with almond, oh. it's a biscuit, blueberry. This one also coffee seed. Inside is like. strawberry. Mm. Maybe a couple? That's probably more than we need, hey? Mm. Just a tiny little bit. <laughs> like this one. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of chocolate. Alright, so we have left the spice market. Ooh, I'm excited. I'll try this guy. I don't know what this is. Mmm, almond. Mmm. 
These are all really good. This is, this one's really good. Yeah. A little dinosaur egg. <laughs> I will say, super high quality chocolate. You know what this would be awesome for? I think it would be a super good souvenir. We are going home, so we can't buy any souvenirs, but if you're going home, this is an awesome souvenir. a guy who sells roasted nuts, which is one of the things on our list. I don't know what kind of nuts they are. <laughs> We're gonna go find out. Name? Name? Uh, it. It's a chestnut. Yum. You can see him like he scores them before he bakes them, before he roasts them, so that they come apart easily. Oh. Okay, that looks awesome. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. So quickly put it in your mouth. <laughs> Softer than I expected. Kind of tastes like a kernel. Oh, yeah. Or like somewhere between that and like a baked potato. These are pretty good. It's like a $2 snack. It's Super really tasty. They're really tasty. <laughs> I can, yeah, this would be good for like a road trip or walking around the day. That'd be really yummy. Mm -hmm. some fish sandwiches beside the uh, bridge and you can see behind me there's a ton of restaurants offering these sandwiches looks pretty basic onions lettuce fish and a sandwich no customization that's for sure no idea what fish it is honestly it tastes like a fish sandwich it smells like a fishy fish sandwich and it tastes like a fishy fish sandwich. <laughs> the only thing I'd say is watch out when you're ordering. <laughs> Money is flying, the fish sandwich is in your face before you know it. I will not be getting fish sandwich. Bones are part of it, I guess. <laughs> watch yourself then. Do you think one of those guys just caught your lunch? I think so. I'll <laughs> figure out who to thank later. <laughs> is sometimes described as like Turkish pizza. It's like a flatbread dough with usually like meat and veggies and maybe cheese like this one. It's like a beef and cheese pita. Mm. Man, this country knows how to do meat. I love the dough. It's so flaky. Mm. Wow. Now that is my kind of meal. Oh my gosh, that is good. It's like a beef and cheese pizza, but no tomato sauce. It's like perfect. So here we got Rocky, traditional national drink of Turkey. It's meant to be served cold. It's made from grapes and anise. Add a little bit of water to top it up. It smells like a... Licorice? Licorice, yeah, it smells like licorice. I can smell it from here. It's like strong licorice. <laughs> Yum. 
Daniel. Not a fan. <laughs> this will be the one and only rack that Miko has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good experience, everybody. But the Turks love it. But the Turks love it. So, not for me, but to each their own. Hey, how are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Hola! Oh, God, come on. Okay, take a place. Hi. Yes. So aggressive. Okay. You're gonna try. Thank you very much. Hoba! <laughs> what did you get? I don't know. Did you pick? No, I didn't pick. He I just gave you a little all. everything. Turkish ice cream with extra cone on top, which is, as I understand it, thicker than ice cream that we're used to. Wow, it's so thick. Wow. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's good. You see it though, it's like, it's like stringy almost. That's how thick it is. That's delicious. I don't know what flavor that is. I would highly recommend. I just wish it was hot. <laughs> I think it's it... cold and rainy, but ice cream's good any day. <laughs> Next up, we got mussels. It's stuffed, and it's got like the mussel meats, and then it looks like rice and some spices. That's really good. Taste the seafood. It's like a full meal in like one bite because you have the mussel meat, and then you have rice and some spices. So you have a little bit of everything in like a one bite package. Except for vegetables, but who needs those? <laughs> Not you. There's a lemon. <laughs> There's the vegetables right there. <laughs> we finally got my apple tea. Came at a great time because it's cold. We got caught in the rain. It's really yum. It tastes exactly like an apple steeped in hot water. We often see people sitting outside with this adorable little cup and in the mornings it has try it but this time of day it seems to always have the apple tea in it and I think it's yummy super yum <laughs> get rid of that guy nope don't eat that <laughs> all right next up is kokoretch Kokoretch is a lamb intestine sandwich. Really good. It tastes just like ground beef or ground pork. Not too greasy at all. Almost a little dry, actually. This would be a good lunch. If you can get over the lamb intestine. Which you obviously can. <laughs> some Turkish delight and we felt kind of silly because we bought six pieces like itty bitty pieces and he wrapped them up so pretty for us it was an awful lot of effort for our tiny amount of Turkish delight it <laughs> 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 feels so silly all right oh my gosh I think I chose one that was covered in coconut flakes that was a good idea it's delicious it's really subtle I was worried it was gonna be like gummy. I don't like gummy like candies and stuff. But that's yummy. Let's try other flavor. I don't know what flavors we got. I think it might be the same, but with powder on the outside instead of coconut. It's really good. Anyway, delicious. Delightful. Hey, you're how much? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got some baklava. Delicious Turkish baklava that we've been avoiding for a long time up until this point. Mm. The taste and sounds of turkey. Really good. Very sweet. It's like something's drizzling off there. Try this one. Looks more chocolatey. Seemed like a burst of chocolate in that one. 
still very sweet. And it's still covered in some sort of syrup. Really good. Definitely have to try this. It's kebab time. <laughs> this is a beef, well, just a kebab. I think it's beef. Maybe it's lamb. They like mince the meat and then mush it all around a skewer and then um, grill it. And it's divine. It's so good. Just like basic flavor of the meat, but it's really, really good. Mm. This is the last thing I think I'm eating today. <laughs> Finally. All right, the last dish for me is a chicken shawarma. It's uh, what we see a lot of people eating, and it's everywhere on the streets. Uh, so many food vendors offer them. They have those huge sticks or mounds of meat, and they shave them off chunks of chicken or beef or whatever. You can get them put into different types of buns. This one's in a kind of like a pita bread. Very much a taste of the Istanbul cuisine. Super delicious. We've got chicken, some sauce, um, just some tomatoes and lettuce and a couple other things there that I don't recognize, so definitely not a bad way to end the day, even though I'm already still so full. <laughs> to the end of our day, so let's check the list. It's almost all scratched off, except one, the elusive baked potato. We heard about these things. You could like get a potato and then choose your own toppings. Never found them. Apparently they're all over. Can't find them. Don't know where they are. If you know where they are, tell us in the comments. But everything else, look at that list. We ended up with 18 things. So really quick, what was your favorite? Uh, shoot, my favorite? The pita was amazing, and I think I also love the submit, which feels like a <laughs> cop out because there's like it's like the snacky food you get on the side of the road, but it was so good. But not gonna lie, I love the pita. Mm -hmm. I did love the submit. I don't know the uh, the little like chocolate <laughs> like balls that we got at the spice market. Those were really oh, good too. Super good. Turkish food is fantastic. They just have so many options, which is why it's so great. Like so much to explore in a new city with a new yeah. cuisine. Lots of variety. Mm -hmm. But 18 foods is a lot of foods to pack in a day. We suggest you spread them out over a few because we are stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna roll ourselves to bed now, I think. That's it for us today. Until next time. Thanks for watching. It looks delicious. Ooh. Drop some inside your shoe. Put in the oven. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Still drinking it though? Oh god. <laughs> Guess it's up to me. Maybe full, but not that full. I thought you were full. <laughs> I was full. I am full. But <laughs> these are so good.